You're probably familiar with appearances by now. If not, you can always go back and watch the last two videos on appearances and appearance hierarchy. In this video, I'm going to do a really quick render of this bone wrench. I'm not really going to go into too much detail on the options or how to make your re renderings more realistic or get the specifics that you want in your renderings. This will cover just quickly producing a rendering and getting it out the door. So the first thing to know is that the center of your workspace is going to be the center of the image that you're creating. So Photo View 360 is going to is going to take a snapshot centered around two lines if you can imagine running across here. So the first thing we want to do is add in Photo View 360. And I'll set this as an active add-in. If you use Photo View quite frequently, you can set this to turn on at startup so it's always there. Typically, if you're modeling and not working with one of these add-ins, I recommend you turn them off as they do take a little bit of resources away from your computer while you're working. So you might as well have it off while you're not using it. We can access the tools for Photo View from this pull-down or from the Render Tools tab. So I am going to go ahead and just quickly change a couple options. But if I wanted, I could hit Final Render and this will push out a render for me right away. With the Final Render, if you select this, the preview window always comes up. Or you can simply select this and get a preview window beforehand. And this will give you a pretty reasonable idea of what your part will look like. There are some features in Photo View that don't apply to the preview that will apply to your final render. And this will also tend to look a little grainier than it will actually look in the rendering. So if you're a little bit worried about how the preview looks, it typically looks quite a bit better in the rendering itself. Within the options, I'm just going to change the output image size. And set this to the lowest setting for render quality so that I can just produce it very quickly. Now if I look back at my preview window, we can see that the aspect ratio updated. And once again, I'm not going to go too far into the details here, so I'm just going to go ahead and hit Final Render, and let's see what we get. You can see as this goes, it's rendering pretty quickly, but I have eight boxes moving and they have one for every core that you have on your processor. So if you have a four core processor like I do with hyper threading which turns it to eight virtual cores then you'll be rendering with all eight of those cores at once. But I'll talk more in detail about that in another video on hardware. So you can see the texture looks a little bit strange here, a little bit grainy some of that comes from just setting it as a good quality and a lot of this actually comes from not setting up our render. So in later videos I'm going to go into options on how to get this to look a lot more realistic. Now if you just want to push out a rendering very quickly, using one of two different types of appearances generally works quite well. So if I click on this and remove the appearance or rather remove all appearances. Those two appearances are high gloss plastics so if I drag one of these in this will produce a pretty good rendering off the bat.
and the painted car option. Usually also works quite well. So once I hit final render, this will go quite quickly. And once again, it'll produce another rendering. Now from here I can simply save out the image. And I'll go ahead and save it out to my desktop. And now I have this image. So that'll get you started with PhotoView and the rest of the videos will go into a lot more detail on setting up for your renders.